Good evening, everyone. My name is Marty Boy, aka Martinez392. Today, I'm here to talk about the newest, um, the latest deals when it comes to CPUs. And when you're talking about CPUs, you know, the latest generation of the AMD uh, CPUs, the 3000 generation, the third generation of the CPUs have are now coming out. The AMD Ryzen 3000, the 3800, the 3700. X, I think it's called and a few others obviously but the thing is right now is you're starting to see the older generation starting to go down in extremely low prices prices we have never seen before honestly um, and the one best deal that I would highly recommend and if you're looking into a processor today which I think is very good value it is going to be the Ryzen 7 2700. Now, yes, they do have the X, but I'm telling you, all the X is is an overclocked 2700. The Ryzen 7 2700X is just an overclocked 2700. You can literally do it yourself and probably get better performance out of it if you just got the 2700 and overclocked. Look, overclocking is not very hard. You can literally do it with the Ryzen, map the Ryzen software that you can literally download online that I actually will show you in this video. Just so you guys will get this know that you can overclock yourself at home. It takes literally a few seconds. The only thing I recommend is these CPUs do come with stock coolers. But I do recommend you staying away from the stock cooler. Try to buy some kind of water-cooled cooler if you're going to be overclocking. Now, even if you don't overclock, this is a great processor. It has 8 cores, 16 threads, which is amazing. Un uh, unlocked it comes with everything you could possibly imagine literally it's the Ryzen master utility I forgot that's what it's called that's the overclocking utility that you want to use it is amazing uh, the max overclock speed that you can do is 4.1 gigahertz I would recommend going like a 3.9 4.0 with a with a power watts of around 3 point uh, a 1.33 if you're going to do a 3.9, like a 1.33 or 1.3 around there, just so it's enough power and it's going to not, not have any issues at all. Literally, look at the price tag on this. Literally, 200 bucks. When it first came out, it was literally a $300 processor. And, you know, it just recently it was like 250 So at this price tag, I would say this is probably one of the best deals in the market right now. And if you waited a little bit longer and waited for the other generation, the newer generation to actually come out after pre-order, this would probably even go down even cheaper in price. Honestly, this is your best bang for your buck. If you're looking for something that is your best bang for your buck at this moment, you pair this with the, 20, the RTX 2060, you got yourself a very good solid PC that can literally perform in any single game that you throw at it. I literally have the same CPU with a 2060 and honestly i think i love it it's literally everything that i ever need honestly it's probably overkill for what i do but honestly i can't complain i play games all the games i play on it honestly no problems at all but if you're looking for a cpu you're looking to overclock and you do not want to pay the latest generation prices i would highly recommend going with the ryzen 7 2700 processor because it is your best bang for your buck the only thing i recommend is do not use a stock cooler go ahead spend a little bit more eighty two hundred dollars more get yourself a very good cooler because down the line get yourself a water cooled a water cooled cooler get yourself one it's going to be well worth it at the end it's going to save you a lot of frustrations and honestly it's going to keep that pc very very cool i highly recommend it my name is Marty Boy, aka Martinez392. Hope you guys all have a great rest of your evening. This was just a quick video telling you and uh, recommending you a processor that I use today on a daily basis and my main PC, which is what I'm recording on right now. Um, let's actually bring over the a, a master, the Ryzen Master Utility. Here is the Ryzen Master Utility. As you could tell, right now i'm overclocked at 3.9 gigahertz um and with a cpu voltage of a 3 point a, a 1.3 which is not bad i did have a little higher before but you know honestly is it really needed no i think right here is just sufficient enough you're fine right here you really don't need no more this is a really really good starting point if you're not using your computer very heavily and you know you can get away with this stick with this you know when 
I I have seen it steady most of the time today, like around 33 degrees Celsius. Right now it's running about 41 degrees Celsius consistently because obviously I'm running a web browser, I'm recording. So obviously it's going to have extra processors processes running. So obviously it's going to be running a little harder, but because the encoders and all that other stuff that's running in the background. But I do highly, highly recommend this processor, but it's very simple. Like you come over this prop, this, this thing right here, literally just type right here what you want, type right here what you want. Literally uh, 3.9 gigahertz is literally 3000 megahertz. So just type it in each one, eight cores, put it all in eight cores, you're good to go, you be set, change the CPU voltage to 1.3. Now you can go a little bit more higher, it all depends what works for you. Every single CPU is different. So your computer may act up a little weird. You may have to pump it up a bit, but you know, honestly, you could probably do 4,000 megahertz very easily without a problem with this CPU because the, the boost speed is 4.1. I've read online, you could probably get away with 4.0. I mean, you probably can get away with it, but me, I'm perfectly fine running with a 3.9 gigahertz um, right now. I think it's running stable. The temps are running stable at the max stress test. This computer was running with the stress test that AMD Ryzen Master actually runs. It was running around 54 degrees Celsius. So obviously, it's. I believe it's stable, and I'll be running more tests with it as the coming days to see if I actually want to keep it. Obviously, you can actually apply this on the fly. The only thing is, if you not, if you want to get rid of it, you got to restart it. If you want to. Uh, uh, overclock no restarting needed you can literally do it right here right in front of you click and play very easily just gotta download it on your pc it's very simple very easy to do that that is all i love this program i think it's the best program on the market my next coming thing is to be overclocking my gpu which is a nvidia geforce rtx 2060 which i believe is one of the best values on the market right now at this moment I know you guys think, oh my goodness, that's like the lower level. Look, you're looking into the names. Don't. Don't. These cards perform excellently. Every game I've thrown at it has performed amazingly well. Haven't had one issue. I've played high settings on pretty much every game I have played or ultra settings. Haven't had one issue at all. Stable. Everything is stable. I have no issues playing any games. Don't 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 go overlook it. Um, you know, if you want to really do future proof. Get to RTX card. Don't go out buying the GTX 1660. I know that's tempting. It's a good card. Don't get me wrong. It's a great card. I was looking into it. But as I was literally looking at PCs and I was looking at, okay, I want the best value for my book. I said, let me go with the RTX 2060. And I believe that was the best value. Uh, not only because I bought a PC that was pre-built, so obviously I was looking at the price tags. I wanted the best processor with the best GPU at that time in the price range I was looking to spend, which was like around $1,300 USD. So this was the best deal at the time. It gave me 16 gigs of RAM, which that was a requirement for me. That's something I wanted. Most of the CPU, most of the, all the PCs that was being built on that price range was only giving me eight gigs, like with the Intel. I'm a big Intel fan, but at the same time, most of the CPU, most of the computers that were being built in that price range were eight gigs of RAM, and that's it. You couldn't get any higher, and that's all. And so when I was looking into it, look, I could build my own PC, but why go through the frustrations when I'm gonna pretty much be spending the same amount of money when I can have someone else do it? And I and guess what? All the parts are covered under one one company, and that's it. I don't gotta worry about going out and, and warrantying them through anyone else. It's all warranted under one base, one company. Now, if I built this myself, these GPU goes, I gotta warrant, I gotta go figure out who, who warranties that. If the motherboard goes, I gotta figure out who the, who the motherboard is. I gotta get hold of them. But, it, but if it goes, I don't gotta do nothing but ship it back to the manufacturer. The manufacturer fixes it, repairs it, replaces it. Whatever they do, they handle it. And it comes with a three year part warranty, a two year part warranty. No big deal. It's amazing warranty. I, I mean, I can't go wrong with what they actually give with this overall. I think the CPU at $200, $200 is great value. If you guys are looking for a new CPU, check out the Ryzen 7 2600, not 2600, 2700. I don't know why I keep going on my own CPU and it's right in front of my face. Eight cores, 16 threads. Make sure you check it out. My name is Ronnie Boy, aka uh, Martinez 392. Thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye bye.